Hey everyone, so this is a little bit of a different video than what we normally do on a channel for Vegas lifestyle and living. Um, wanted to let you know that I had bought this Dell 15 Inspiron 5502 laptop and it only came with a 256 terabyte hard drive which was fine because it comes with an empty slot where you can install another um, hard drive. However, what I found out was when I was trying to do the install is that Dell stopped shipping or never shipped the laptop with the mounting bracket that you need in order to actually mount the hard drive. So while I was researching this issue, I found that people online had to contact Dell support to hopefully get them to send in the bracket at an additional cost or they were told that they did not have this part, it was back ordered so nobody could get it. There is um, a good video on YouTube by another YouTuber, Tuner for Kids, and I'll include a link to his video in the description. He was able to install it with some parts that he bought, but he had to do some drilling. So I didn't want to go that route. So searching on Amazon, I actually found that there's a company um, that started selling the bracket that you need and there's no drilling required. The official Dell part number for this bracket is KYMC9 and just happening to look on Amazon, I found that the company started selling a compatible bracket that is in stock. So I thought I'd just make this video to show the bracket does actually fit and works. And I also installed a heat sink on the hard drive. So I will go through that process as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you find it helpful. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is remove the screws on the edges. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll move the seven first. There's two more here, one here by the hinges and the other one by the hinge. You want to save those for last because those are captive screws. They won't even come off. But when you unscrew them, they actually start lifting the lid up a little bit. And that way you can get a pry tool in there to start working the clips off. So let's get the seven screws off first. Okay, so the first seven screws are off. Now we're gonna undo this one and this one. And again, as you unscrew, this panel will start to lift up a little bit. So when I unscrewed this right one, it actually, I heard a pop coming out of this edge. So now I'm just going to work around the whole edge with the pry tool to get all the clips off. So once you have the cover off, you notice in the middle, there is a clip here and that connects to this little ball. So just be aware that you may have to pull that up a little bit as well. So here's the slot for the second hard drive. And as you can see, they don't include any uh, mounting hardware. And so you have to buy a bracket so that you can install the hard drive. And I'll leave a link in the description as to what I bought from Amazon. So this is the, the drive I went with. It's a, Samsung 970 Evo Plus, one terabyte. They have different sizes, smaller and larger. They, I believe the largest one they make is a two terabyte right now, um, but it was about twice the price of this one, so I went with the one terabyte. And hopefully they'll, as all hardware does, it'll come down in price and pick one up at some point, the two terabyte. So as you can see, this this is the drive, and it's gonna go in over here, but the other side of it does not have a place to have the drive rest. So the bracket kit you can buy from Amazon comes with this little bracket here and three screws. And what you do is you would you would put the the bracket in like so. So it's gonna sit in there like that, and then you just screw it down so you can have a place to mount the hard drive. 
So the kit comes with um, two different screws for this part and the smaller one worked for me from the kit so now you can see that it's been secured in there. I also ordered um, a heat sink for the hard drive as well because I hear these get pretty hot. So I'm going to be sticking that onto the hard drive before I actually finish the install. And I'll also leave a link to this product in the description as well. The heat sink kit comes with a piece of copper for the heat sink and also two silica gel pads of different thicknesses depending on how much room you have to work with um, inside your laptop. And also it comes with three rubber bands and you use two of them to secure uh, the heat sink to the hard drive on either side. Okay, heat sink is on. Rubber bands are holding it in place. And then see the blue gelica pad, silica gel pad is in the middle. And we're ready to install the drive. Okay, the drive has been inserted. And the other side, as you can see, is resting on the new bracket right there. And then we're going to tighten it down with one of the screws that's included in the kit. Okay, that screw has been tightened down and now the drive is secure. And before we close it up, these are the two RAM slots. So when you order your machine, if you only had one um, stick of RAM, it'd be on the left side. But if you wanted to do an upgrade, which I previously did do, uh, very easy to access. You just lift the flap and um, stick it in there. So that's that's where the RAM is. So now let's uh, let's close up the laptop and boot it up. So here I uh, rebooted the laptop and went into the BIOS setup. And under storage, we can now see that there are uh, two PCIe SSDs installed. So let's continue booting in the windows to make sure that they're recognized as well. So going into Windows Disk Management, it does see the new drive, but it has to be initialized first before we can start using it. So you'll notice that Windows is asking me to initialize it using either MBR or GPT. So GPT is a newer standard, so and also it was the default when this dialog box came up. So I will go ahead and stick with GPT. So now we see that it's unallocated space, so we need to right-click on this and create a new simple volume. And we're gonna assign a drive letter D. So after we finish creating the new volume, you can see now it's recognized as the D drive in Windows. Click on Properties, and there you go. 931 gig available right now in the one terabyte drive. So that's it. Hopefully this video helps you out there that need to install a second drive on an Inspiron 5502.